Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about how to find the perimeter of a quarter circle. All right. So you, uh, what's going to happen is you're going to take some notes with me on a couple problems, and then you have a chance to pause the video and try a problem on your own, and then at the end you can see how you did. All right. So in order to find the perimeter of a quarter circle, okay, we need to come up with a formula. All right. Well, let's first take a look at this uh, image of a quarter circle. If you notice, okay, it's really one fourth of a circle. All right. And we really have a radius, which is right here. And then we also have another radius. So really we have two radiuses, right? And then we also have a quarter of the circumference of the circle, right? So I'm gonna highlight that in, in red. So to find the perimeter, which meant, remember means the distance around, okay? We need to basically add the radius, the radius, and then a quarter of the circumference, all right? So the key formulas uh, that we need to write down over here, okay? One is to find the circumference. It's pi times the diameter. And remember, pi is 3.14. And then also, twice the radius equals the diameter. Okay, these are the two formulas we're going to use a lot to find the perimeter of a quarter circle. All right? So let's try to come up with our own formula to, to actually solve, uh, to, to figure out the perimeter of a quarter circle. All right? So we know that we need to add up the two radiuses, right? So here's a radius and here's a radius. So a radius and a radius is gonna be two twice the radius, right? But now we need to add, right, the distance of the, the red part, right? And to do that, I know again, that's a quarter of the circumference. So it's gonna be pi times the diameter, but I'm gonna take that and then divide it by four, all right? Because again, this is one fourth of the, of the circumference of a circle, all right? Now, there's a couple more parts here. So the perimeter, again, is gonna be twice the radius plus, but now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do pi divided by four, okay? And when I do pi divided by four, I get 0 0.785, all right? But it's times D, right? So again, pi 3.14 divided by four, right, is 0 0.785D. All right, now here's the last move we need to make, okay? So you, if you notice in our, our equation, we have R for radius and D for diameter, okay? It's a good idea to basically have the same variable. So what I'm gonna do is because I know that twice the radius equals the, the diameter, I'm gonna replace this 2R with 1D. So perimeter is gonna equal 1D plus 0.785D, all right? And then finally, I can simplify this by adding Okay, 1D and 0.785D. So when I do that, the perimeter is gonna end up being 1.785D, all right? If you'd please put a box around that, right? That's really the heart and soul of what this lesson is all about. Put a star there, happy face, do whatever you gotta do, all right? Because this is the form we're gonna need to basically figure out the um, perimeter of any quarter circle. All right, so let's now use this uh, in a problem. So if you turn the page, all right, it says the radius of a quarter circle is three inches, okay? What is the quarter circle's perimeter? All right, so we know that the radius is gonna be three, and this one also is gonna be three, right? So we know that a good part of the perimeter is gonna be three plus three, which is six, all right? But I wanna use the formula to actually get the, uh, the perimeter. So again, I know perimeter equals, okay? 1.785D. Now, because I know the radius, right, is three, I know that the diameter is gonna be six, right? Because the diameter is twice the radius. So I'm gonna replace this D with a six. So the perimeter is gonna be 1.785 times six. And when I do that, I get an answer of 10, 0.71, all right? And to make sure it's important to use the right labels. Uh, again, I'm talking about inches here, so it's gonna be 10.71 inches. And there it is, all right? So notice how easy it is to get the perimeter once you use the, this formula, all right? All right, so when you uh, turn the page here, let's do one more problem together. And this one's a little more confusing, all right? So this one says the perimeter of a quarter circle is 14.28 feet. What is the quarter circle's radius? All right, so we're looking for the radius here. But again, we're gonna use the same formula. All right, so perimeter 
equals 1.785 times the diameter. And this time they gave us the perimeter and we want to know what the radius is. Our goal is to figure out what each one of these dis what that distance is right there, right? The radius. So I'm going to substitute a 14.28 in for the perimeter. So 14.28 equals 1.785 times the diameter. And now because we wrote an equation, we can solve for the value of D. So I'm going to divide both sides by 1.785 and divide this by 1.785. And finally, when I simplify this, I know the diameter is going to be 8. All right, again, the way I got 8 is I did 14.28 divided by 1.785. All right, but the question is, what's the radius, right? So to get the radius, I have to take the diameter and cut it in half. So 8 divided by 2 is 4. All right, so 4 equals the radius, but remember, it's 4 feet. All right, that's going to be our label. All right, so again, the heart and soul of finding the perimeter of a quarter circle is this equation right here p equals 1.785 d all right so why don't you now pause the video and try the your turn now problem and when you're done hit play you can see how you did all right good luck all right welcome back let's how you do this practice problem all right so for this problem it says the perimeter of a quarter circle is 35.7 feet what is the quarter circle's radius, all right? So again, we need to use the formula P equals 1.785 times the diameter. And again, they gave us the perimeter, right? So I'm gonna replace the P with a 35.7. So it's gonna be 35.7 equals 1.785 times the diameter. And now to solve for D, you had to divide by 1.785 And then when I do that, I end up with a D value or the diameter okay, of 20. So we know that the diameter is 20, but again, the question is, is what's the radius? All right, so you're gonna take that 20 and you're gonna chop it in half. All right, so 20 divided by two is 10. So the radius equals 10 feet. And there it is. All right, how'd you do?